Welcome back, everybody, to another Theta Network update for February 21st, 2023. It's Tuesday. Who's getting some tacos? And also, just a heads up for this update, it's mainly NFT updates. So sorry, Robert. I know you don't like them, but <laughs> not much else is going on in the news today with Theta. So let's go over this update. First up in the news uh, from Theta Drop, exclusive VIP shard airdrop is incoming. The VIP shards will be randomly airdropped for at least one month starting on February 21st to all VIP holders. So that's starting today. They drop VIP benefits and read more about the shards here. So let's go over that quick medium article. So don't miss out on the chance to turn your Theta Drop VIP status into extraordinary rewards. Earn exclusive rewards via airdrops and challenges when you hold Theta Drop VIP status. Get the VIP access today to be eligible for awards. Go to ThetaDrop.com slash VIP. See how much T drop you need to have on Theta Drops. You will get the bronze, silver, or gold tier. Now shards will be randomly airdropped for at least one month starting on February 21st to all VIP holders. Now the VIP shard airdrops and challenges. Shards will be airdropped to VIP members randomly throughout each week. You must be a VIP to receive the shards. Higher VIP tiers equal more rewards, and there will be three shards available, bronze, silver, and gold VIP shards. Silver and gold VIP shards can be burned to acquire additional bronze VIP shards. So one silver VIP shard equivalents to about five bronze shards. One gold VIP shard goes to about 10 bronze shards. So think before you burn, you cannot turn a bronze VIP shard back into a silver or gold. Now use VIP shards to claim rewards. Each Friday for at least one month starting February 24th, 2023, various challenges will be available to convert VIP shards to exclusive rewards. These rewards include digital collectibles, limited edition merchandise, and more. Most rewards will be able to be claimed with bronze VIP shards, but keep an eye out for the silver and gold VIP exclusive rewards. So yeah, it's basically like that winter time one. It's like a what was that? Like, I know I reclaimed him. I was like, where was I? I was traveling from Florida back to Cali. Do, 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 do. Let me go on to it. Like, I'll show you what I redeemed my frost shards for. Let's go to my collection. Here we go. And it was this guy right here. I, re I redeemed like three or five. I think I only had three actually frost shards to get this Theta Beast Snow Globe NFT. But yeah, so it's going to be like that. Friday's going to be the challenges. And as long as you have the shards, you can redeem them. So yeah, that's the VIP frost, frost Shard news for you. And what else is going on? Looks like Jason DPH has a new episode of Light Painting Vlog, and it is up on his YouTube channel. This one was created in Arkansas with fellow light painter Johnny Griffin. As always, we, this was created in real time and captured in one single exposure. Here's a link to check it out. So yes, if you remember Jason DPH, he had a drop, I forgot how long ago, on Theta Drop, and this was all his stuff he had on here. But yeah, if you want to check out his in the work artwork happening, check out his channel at Light Painting Photos on YouTube, and you can find the latest vlog here, I believe. I think he just posted. Yep, this is his most recent one, Light Painting Vlog 48 in Arkansas with Johnny Griffin. So yeah, if you like his artwork, definitely check out his channel. And then what else is going on with the Theta Drop and NFT news out there. Looks like Fuse Wars is having an AMA coming soon. So, yeah, let's get excited. Time's ahead. Exciting news Fuse Wars is stopping by the DAP House for an AMA. Get ready to join us and ask all your burning questions. Put your questions below and stay tuned for more details. Fuse Wars AMA, crypto, blockchain, DeFi, NFTs. And this does look like a fun game. So, it's more than just an NFT piece of art. It's actually a video game you'll be able to play soon. So, yeah, super stoked and love seeing this progress. And speaking of the Fuse Wars, you got, for those of you who purchase a Cairo Chamber, you should be receiving a new limited edition weapon. Yes, so air drumming incoming next week. This was last week on the 14th, so it's literally been seven days, so it's happening this week. Excited to share this limited edition RS2 with those who purchased a Cairo Chamber during the drop. So, whew, so if you purchase one, you're going to be getting one of those nice weapons to play the game. And let's see, what else? We got Max Theta from Camp Theta. Huge thank you to the Mystic Gurus for gifting these custom NFTs to Camp Theta's wild VR game. I'm so excited and to award them to the winner. So yes, if you go to the next Camp Theta event, there's gonna be, I believe he received five NFTs from the Mystic Gurus to be, uh, to be given to the winners of the challenges that he has up there. So pretty fun. And again, we'll get more news on the next Slapfish uh, drop coming, which will give you the next batch that will go to the Camp Theta. Because the only way to get to Camp Theta is if you hold all six of the badges out there. So yeah, this is a little sneak peek of the uh, NFTs out there that will be rewarded for the winners out there. So yeah, pretty cool.
And let's see, we got two more NFT news out there. Battle Pugs, uh, his fury will be unleashed this Tuesday, February 28th at 3 p.m. 50 max via challenges. So yeah, it looks like Battle Pugs fury challenges happening. So be ready for that next Tuesday, guys, if you want to get that fury pug. And lastly, uh, there's a new episode for the non-USA residents with the World Poker Tournament Season Pass each week. So what, you can use your World Poker Tournament Season Pass each week to watch newly unlocked episodes. A brand new season 19 episode just unlocked for the non-USA Season 19 Pass holders. The World Poker Tournament Cash Game $100-$200 No Limit Hold'em Part 6. You can watch them on worldpokertour.thetadrop.com slash videos. So if you're in the USA, we have season 18 that we get unlocked, but the latest episode was just released for the non-USA residents. You can click there and you can see all the episodes right there for you. And again, you can only watch this if you have one of these World Poker Tournament season passes. I'll try and go to it. Go on my challenge. Do, 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 boop, boop, boop. There we go. That's World Poker Tournament season 19 pass. So... It's like a little passport, it's a membership, it's a subscription. This is how you're going to be using NFTs in the future, <laughs> and it's pretty cool how it's working out. But that's about it, though, for the Theta Network update. Again, not much was going on. It was just NFT news today. But price of Theta is at $1.23 with a market cap of $1.23 billion. Trading volume is at $49.6 million. Total stake nodes out there is 3,202. The Theta being staked and locked away is at 60.19%. Now taking a look at the T fuels price, T fuels at 0.059 cents with a market cap of $358.5 million. Trading volume is at 21.9 million. Total of the edge nodes is 8,107, and the T fuel staked and locked away is at 40.20%. Now looking at T drops price, we're at 0.0049 cents with a market cap of $49.2 million, and trading volume is 205,000. And for those of you who know, like really the use cases for all these tokens, T Drop is the governance token of the Theta Drop website. So if you want to make changes to this or make proposals, you need T Drop people to make votes to help they push that forward. And then T Fuel is the gas. You can't move T Drop, T Fuel, or Theta without T Fuel. You need that for the gas. That's its main purpose. And then Theta is the governance of the Theta network. And also, you're going to need Wrap Theta if you want to create subchains on the meta chain. So, those are the use cases for all these three Theta tokens. Now, let's take a look at the change between Theta and T Fuel. Theta is down 2.02% since yesterday, and T Fuel is down 1.97. And as always, we'll finish off with the movement here on fieldleap.com slash Theta. It's always nice seeing the movement take place, where, it's, where the transactions are coming from, usually KuCoin and Digifinex. And then sometimes Huby when you see the South Korean exchange. It's been a while since I've seen a European bubble go up there, but they do happen every so often. But if you guys did enjoy this content, please hit that thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.